Hello boys. So today we'll be starting off with a new chapter. Chapter number six. That is in page number 86. File management and organizations of folders. So in this chapter we will learn about Windows Explorer, about creating, saving and opening a file or folder, a few things about the desktop gadget. Okay, Windows Explorer. We have already read about files and folders. So I've already ta taught you about the files, how to create folders, okay? So here, Windows Explorer is a program in Windows 7 operating system that is used in view and managing files and folders. To view and to manage files and folders. So here are the steps to be followed to open Windows Explorer. Okay, so I'll show you step by step. Step one says click on the start button. So this is my start button. Start button, as you all know, is located on the taskbar. This is my desktop. This is my taskbar. So on the left hand side of the taskbar, you will find the start button. So first step, step one, click on the start button. And step two, click on all programs. Okay. Click on all programs. Step three, click on accessories. So there is accessories right on top. You'll find accessories. Click on it. Then click on Windows Explorer. So where is Windows Explorer? Look for it. Come down. Here you find Windows Explorer. Okay. So this is what you see when you click on Windows Explorer. If you go to page number 87, this is the image in figure number one, Windows Explorer screen. So the Windows Explorer screen appears. So if you look at this screen, look at page number 86, 87, sorry, 87. So on the left hand side, this is Windows Explorer screen is divided into two parts, the left hand side and the right hand side. So we call this, this is the left pane, LA. L E F T P A N E left pane or the navigation pane and this area is the right pane. So right pane means P A N E means division. Okay. So we have the left pane and the right pane. So there are two panes in the Windows Explorer screen. The left pane or the navigation pane displays drives and folders. So in the left pane, you'll see the drive, C drive, D drive, E drive, and the folders, and the folders, okay? On the right-hand side, on the right-hand side, the right pane shows the folders or the files of the selected folder in the navigation pane. Now, say for example, if I click on the C drive, so whatever files are inside C drive, everything gets displayed on the right pane. So on the left left hand side, if I click on data, so what I whatever folders is inside E drive is get displayed on the right hand side. Okay. So we'll click on like this is what we have. So by default the libraries folder is selected in the navigation pane of the Windows Explorer. So that means whenever you open the Windows Explorer, by default, you'll see the screen. That, that means automatically libraries folder is selected. Okay. By default means automatically. Okay. Smart Byte. In the left pane, single click any folder to view its contents. Okay. So on the left hand side, if I click on, I just have to single click. As you all know, double click and single click. Right, so for single click, you just click on the right right button, sorry left button with your index finger, single click. Okay, so with the help of the single click, you can view its contents. So I can see whatever folders or files are inside C drive with a single click. So while on the right pane, double click any subfolder or files to view its content. Okay, 
now this is the left pane so if i just click on it i can see whatever content is inside the c drive so if i want to view the contents in the right hand side the right pane i cannot just single click if i single click all will, whatever will happen is just get selected okay you just get selected but if i want to go inside i have to double click on it okay double click hold is empty double click see tak tak double click double click okay if i single click it will just get selected single click just selection right okay then moving on to libraries the libraries feature of windows 7 makes it easy easier to see your files and arrange them by folder date and other properties for faster access okay there are four default libraries in windows 7 so you should remember there are four default libraries in windows 7 what are those documents pictures music and videos okay so for example you can include all your music and sound files and folders in one library called music and what you can do is if you have pictures if you have videos you can include all those videos pictures in the respective folders so if you if you have videos you can put all the videos inside the video folder if you have pictures you can include all the pictures inside the picture folder so it will be easier for you to navigate to move around to check so in for later on you don't have to go search where are your pictures where are your videos where are your music so all you have to do is on the windows explorer and the libraries so pictures so copy those pictures inside the picture folder music inside the music folder so it will be easier for you to move around later on okay so now moving on to page number the next page page 88 creating a new folder now see to create a new folder follow the steps given below okay step 1 double click on the computer icon so i double click you don't have double you can just single click on the computer icon on the left hand side on the left hand side you, you can just single click okay then what we'll do is we we'll go to one of the drives we'll go to multimedia okay one of the drives select the drive or folder from the navigation pane in which a new folder is to be created so right click the selected drive or folder and select new folder option from the menu that appears click on the new folder button in the windows explorer windows okay so i am inside one of the drives if i want to create a new folder all i have to do is I just click on new folder a new folder op option appears so i can type i whatever name i want okay so yeah i can rename this new folder i already had a new folder i can rename this new folder as my folder you see okay new folder will appear in the right pane you can change the folder name as per your choice so i have made it as my folder and then click on the enter key so the new folder has converted into my folder so you will find the required folder created in the right pane of the windows explorer so on the right hand side on the right hand side the right pane i am able to create a new folder so if in case i want to rename this folder okay i want to rename i don't want my folder i want some other name so what i can do is after creating a new folder i can also rename it by doing right click and selecting rename so what i'll do is i'll right click then i'll come down i'll click on rename okay so i can change the name of the folder class 3 okay so i have renamed this folder as class 3 okay 